Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And they continue with Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood Blind. Hmm. It sounds like sounds of fighting, which means uh, Rodko has probably enabled a, a rage mode and w went to town on those bastards. Which is entirely understandable and the correct way to go about it. Katana! Rodko! He slaughtered them all. Damn it! I have eyes on Adana. They've taken an elevator to the roof. She's still unconscious. And Rodko? He's a few rooms ahead of you. I, I think... I think he's given in to his rage, Cahal. No, not you, Rodko. Please, Cahal, you have to do something. Hmm. Will they have to fight him? Now, rage is not just anger, it's not that the werewolves are angry, rage is supernatural. Uh, rage is, uh, you know, it, it has an effect on the relationships that the werewolves have with everyone, because humans and regular animals are instinctively afraid of werewolves because of the rage. Uh, to me he was eating that corpse which is actually a huge sin uh, within the litany of the Garou because they are forbidden from uh, eating uh, the flesh of humans or the flesh of wolves uh, but uh, you know wh once a werewolf has fallen uh, sort of very deeply it has given very deeply into his rage he can he can enter what's called the thrall of the worm which is like the the, the, the most extreme state the stage uh, or most extreme state of being consumed by your rage uh, and you know no longer able to control your own actions and while in such a stage uh, they, 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 they are known to have uh, engaged in cannibalism uh, but also in things like necrophilia or generally you know uh, t totally like the first they slaughter all of their enemies and then they do unspeakable things to their corpses basically how it goes once you're in the thrall of the worm uh,
Cam Day. I'm very dead.
They've taken her. I'm sorry. I... I could not resist my rage. I know, my friend. No one could blame you. <clears throat> She's all that's left of my sister. Find her. Protect her. For... Ludmilla. I had no choice. He was overtaken by rage, he would have killed me. Ronco, please. You can't be gone. Damn it, Ava, snap out of it. They've taken my daughter. Where is she? They... They took her to the roof. Guide me. The elevator's in the office above you. You should be able to get there through a nearby ventilation duct. Donna! Fuck! No! Wait, I know you. I am Richard Watkins, Endron's CEO. I've been keeping tabs on you for a long time. Then... you knew. Of course. Your little attack, your little plans. <laughs> we knew everything. I've been trying to identify you for some time. You can't imagine all the wonderful things we'll be able to accomplish with you. Losing a few sights was a small price to pay. I've got great hopes for you, my dear. Mr. Watkins, we'll be at our destination in two hours. What have you done to me? Sweet dreams. That helicopter. Find out where it's going. I managed to intercept one of their calls. They were talking about a package they were delivering to Meridian State Prison in Nevada. They also talked about some treatment. They want to do something to her. Find out all you can about this prison and get things ready for our departure. As soon as I'm back, we're leaving for Nevada. But what about Rodko? Are we just gonna leave him? There's nothing we can do for him now, Ava. I'm sorry. But 80's our priority. Rodko would have said the same thing. I know. The backup generator. Rodko's scent is still fresh here. Okay, so my prediction is that uh, they are going to transform my daughter. Uh, what are they going to do to her? We have to get her back before they do anything. Don't lose your head, Ava. Without you, we're blind. Mm, they are going to transform my daughter into a Fomori using the, the those uh, formu formulas of theirs, and.
and I wouldn't be surprised if I had to kill her at the end of the game. That would be like the, you know, that would that would uh, be the ultimate uh, the ultimate display of like uh, personal tragedy for Gahal. He has lost his wife. He has lost his pack leader. He has lost. Uh, well, uh, he he would lose his uh, only daughter as well. Like, that would be par for the course for the World of Darkness. It's not called World of Darkness because it's a nice place. Uh, Endron had prior knowledge of the attack against the fracking site. The pack fell into a trap set by the corporation's president, Richard Watkins, whose aim was to capture, capture Adena. A powerless witness to the abduction, Rodko gave in to the rage which left, which left Kahal not, not no other option but to kill him. The Fianna warrior now has only one idea in mind, find his daughter. However, Endron launches its remaining forces against the Cairn. Well, so that is a FOMOR, FOMOR then. I was wondering if they, if they would show up in the actual game. Particularly impressive. Kahal, the forces of the worm have returned. They spread unfettered across this land. Human. We're supposed to use the Penumbra Vision to do something, but I'm not quite sure why. I'm actually a bit annoyed that I cut Ifen off. I would prefer to listen to all of the dialogue. Make haste. The spirits are dying. Okay, so that's one of the pumps. One down. 
And I guess they are... Uh, are those highlighted by my penumbra vision? There was like an arrow piercing the land. But maybe it no longer shows up because I've disabled it? test that theory by going here. Do not delay, warrior of Gaia. The forest is dying. Well, I guess it must be showing something else then. I think. Poison the earth. The worm's corruption spreads. What does the test say? It's strange. Compared to samples taken just 200 meters from here, the difference is staggering. The sample taken by the dam contains less than a tenth of the number of aquatic life forms. Hmm. Or maybe it does show the pumps. Because I think there's one right here, and it does show as this arrow. I set you free. Return to Yifen. I thank you, Fiana warrior. Hmm. So I guess he will command me to find those spirits. Which is a bit annoying because they found some of them but couldn't interact with them because the pumps were not destroyed yet. The worm is on the ebb, but its servants still live. Ready yourself. They are here. And they are waiting for you. Well now, what do we have here? 
the mongrel that's been killing my men? Fruit! Show him what you can do! Be gone. This is no place for bloodshed. Make the Umbra take you. What? Ugh. Stay calm! This changes nothing! Collect his fucking head! Hmm. Intro... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, this all repeats. Now the Umbra doesn't really work like this. It's it's not a like it, it it's it's not exactly another plane of existence that you can send people to via teleport. It's like it's like another layer. It's a spiritual layer of reality on top of the physical layer of reality. And humans, regular humans exist like their souls inhabit the umbra but they don't realize that and they didn't they they, they they don't perceive it and they can't control it whereas uh, garou the werewolves they are part part spirit themselves so they can traverse the umbra uh, at will basically almost um, and perceive everything in there freely so i I'm not exactly sure how this is supposed to work, uh, how the guardian spirit of the Cairn sent the Pentex attackers into the Umbra, because they would have been there, their spirits would have been there, but, um, you know, the, the, the Garou are able to physically transport themselves into the Umbra because they are part spirit. Uh, so I'm not sure what to think about it, really. If this is the only stage of the fight, then she's significantly easier than Rodko. Uh, but I have a feeling it might not be. Okay, that was stupid of me. I, I walked straight into that and I was so close to defeating at least the first stage.
I'm not afraid of you. What? Oh, damn it! No! No! You rose to the call, warrior of Gaia. of the worm, and the spirits are returning to the forest. Your fight for the cairn is over. Yet, in spite of your victories, your spirit is troubled. When I was fighting Tank Girl, where exactly did you send us? Deep inside the Umbra, the spirit world. You can discern but the Umbra's surface. I took you into its depths. It was the only way you could fight the servants of the worm without bringing harm to Gaia's domain. Those Endrin security members transformed into strange creatures. How did that happen? The worm has corrupted their bodies to mirror the twistedness of their souls. They are possessed by Bane's spirits of the worm. They become Fomori, the deformed creatures that you fought. You can use your Penumbra vision to detect this corruption and anticipate their change. We have lost our leader, and our pack is scattered. Even heavier on my heart, Endrin has taken my daughter. I felt the Silver Fang submit to his rage. Though you may carry the burden for the rest of your life, you did what had to be done. Leave without fear, Kahal, and find your daughter. I will call the Garu back to this cairn and continue my endless vigil. We shall meet again. Ava must have found AD. She must have. Okay, so no side quests for me then, if then? The servants of the worm have once more taken possession of the lands from which you drove them. I need your help to drive the worm from here permanently. Find them and destroy them. Okay. Uh, would, would have been nice if he had, had given me any clues. Uh, I'll just walk around. Obviously they are, they are not within the cairn itself, that's for sure. So I'll just walk around uh, and try to find uh, enemy enemy groups. supposed to go back in here I will enable uh, no 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 uh, I will enable the quest markers just for a second because uh, I would hate to spend time going into places I've already been to uh, kill everyone well I guess so that's stupid that's I, I dislike this idea 
but I am going to do it. Like, I find myself uh, psychologically incapable of ignoring side quests most of the time. Unless they are like super annoying. I guess the, those are uh, outskirts of the places I've already been at, uh, including, by the way, uh, assuming by the distance, the one I fought them at uh, during the very first mission. Mm, you know, the, the mine. Wait, wait, wasn't I just here? Hmm, I guess not quite. Uh, but the third one is for sure the original one from the first mission. annoying because I think it didn't save after I took down the first oh it did okay
Yeah, surely this has to be the third outpost, right? quick I was pretty close to dying again. I was actually a bit scared because I would have to run back to here from that other place again. It was beginning to be a little bit annoying. By purging in service. You have driven the last trace of the worm from this forest. I thank you, warrior of Gaia. Okay, so let's go talk to Ava then.
But where is Ava? Ava. Yeah, but how? Ava, the pumps are done. Tell me you found 80. They've taken her to one of their sites in Nevada, Viridian State Prison. That's where they... I know. No time to lose. How do I get in? Don't worry, I've already got a plan. Declan's stolen an Indran helicopter. Meet up with him and I'll give you the rundown en route. After saving his cairn from Endron's clutches, Kahal picked up Adena's trail. The young woman has been taken to Viridian State Prison, a penitentiary, a penitentiary, penitentiary financed by Endron that is located in the middle of the state of Nevada. Thanks to Ava's skills, Kahal assumes the ident identity of a wanted serial killer, the infamous Badlands Butcher from South Dakota, and is taken to the prison, where Endron seems to be submitting inmates to the strange battery of tests. Kahal, Viridian State Prison is in Nevada. They've got a lab below the prison. That's where they're keeping Adana. The Nevada authorities have been hunting a serial killer for years. The Butcher. Badlands Butcher. That's your new identity. I've entered your description into their database. Get yourself arrested. They'll throw you straight into Viridian State. Turned up. Been waiting for you for a couple days now. I take it Ava put you in here? Good to have another man on the inside. How is she? I don't know her too well, but it's clear all this has shaken her. She's putting everything she has into the search for your daughter. I think that's the only thing keeping her going. I can relate. Some of the prisoners might have info. Those with influence. The two most influential prisoners around here are Lon Shibeta and Seth. Uh, Seth. Shibeta's mafia, and he's still running his business from the inside. I imagine he gets along well with the warden. From what I hear, they're always trading favors. The other guy, Seth, he controls the drug trade around here. Might be worth a visit if you need a boost. You'll find him in the gym. He never leaves. Apparently, he's sick with something. Who's in charge here, anyway? Guy named Hadley. He's the one who gave you the sticky eyes when he walked in. An ex-con promoted all the way up to Warden. Try not to rub him the wrong way. He's an Endron man, through and through. Every bit as violent as his guards. Oh, and speaking of, most of the guards here are elite soldiers in training, and they're not big on warning shots. Got it. You have a plan for getting out of here? I can't protect you while I'm looking for Adana. Don't worry about me. Ava's got it all figured out. Good. Now lead me to the Shibeta. I'll start with him. Now, I am going to pause here because this episode has been long enough. Um, so that's all for this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye.